پیاده رو نباشه یه درست اینجا She was a sister, a kind and caring sister to unprivileged and helpless people of the world. She worked as a photojournalist, which means she captured the images of pain and despair and presented them to us without interference or interpretation. In her short life, she was the wife of those who were silenced by force. Tonight, we will pay our tribute to her by being her voice that was silenced. Sister, Speak to me of your words when stars are not shining. Speak to me of your words when stars are not shining. Your fingers stretch in my hands, the petals of spring roses. You're decoded to me in roses through walls standing between us, standing around us. Sister, shining stars, speak. Speak to me of your words when stars are not shining. The body of a woman in the coffin is the body of the same woman in the frozen lake of bitter waters. She was taken away by some guards, reportedly branded a spy, and assaulted and tortured by interrogators. June 24th. She was rep reportedly beaten into a coma, then taken to a hospital with a brain hemorrhage and according to some reports, with a broken skull. Friends who saw her through, the, through a plate glass window at the hospital said that she had severe cuts and bruises on her face and head. July 6, 7th and 9th, Canadian officials visited her in the hospital, but were not allowed to get close to her, nor did they get a clear picture of her medical condition. These visits were demanded by Ms. Kazemi's mother, who had to rush to Canadian Embassy in Tehran to seek help for her helpless daughter. July 12th, Ms. Kazemi dies in the hospital while under guard. She was not kidnapped in the street by some paramilitary forces. She was arrested at Evin prison, which I would rather call it the Bastille of Iran. On July 11th, our organization mourned when we learned Zahra Kazemi was declared brain dead from her injuries. Today, added to our anger and sadness is determination. Determination to pressure the Canadian government to make every possible effort 
to force the Iranian government to bring those accountable to justice. The Iranian government must allow the return of Zahra Kazemi's body to Canada in accordance with the wishes of her son, so that an independent autopsy can be conducted to establish the full truth about what happened to this journalist. Zahra Kazemi was a photojournalist doing her job, yet she was arrested, suffered brutal injuries, and died from those injuries. Unfortunately, Zahra Kazemi is not the only journalist to suffer at the hands of the Iranian government. As we speak, there is at least 22 journalists imprisoned in Iran. 14 of them were arrested in the last month. Justice for Kazemi is not just about bringing those responsible for her death to trial. It is about preventing what happened to her from happening to others. We especially call on the Canadian government to forcefully press Iran to allow the return of Ms. Kazemi's body to this country. This case must not be allowed to disappear. All Canadians must demand justice on behalf of Kazemi. Nobody has the right to snuff away the skills and the dedication. And for her to show the courage of doing that dangerous work is a very, very important thing to our society. And when we mourn her and we mourn those other journalists who were killed during the recent war in Iraq, who were doing their job of trying to tell the world about a truth that some did not want to hear. That's what we're here for tonight, my sisters and my brothers. And I want to wish you the solidarity of working people so that we can say that her sacrifice is not in vain. Speak to me of your words when stars are not shining. The body of a woman in the coffin is the body of the same woman in the frozen lake of bitter waters. The walls stand and stand. The ice stands and stands. Nothing moves. Let me carry you out to the sands, to the heat of the sun. Let me watch you rebirth from the ice. Let me see you walk and talk. Sister, shining stars, speak. Speak to me of yourself when stars are not shining. <laughs> <laughs> 